welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward, and on this episode, I'll be talking about the second episode of Watchmen, the HBO series. If you want to see my thoughts on the first episode, it should be up there, or a link will be in the description. And I'm trying not to spoil too much when I, you know, review the episode, but I will spoil everything that happened in the previous episode. So watch episode one and then check out this review. So the end of episode one, we had Judd who was killed, strung up in the tree. And then you had the man in the wheelchair, Will, who said he he did it. And episode two is more so telling you that everything is not so simple. You know, you would think that since Judd is a, is a cop and he's strung up in a tree, the 7th Cavalry has something to do with it. But they really don't show up in this episode. Um, it's more so Angela just trying to deal with everything that just happened. She she lost someone close to her. And she has this mysterious figure, old man in a wheelchair at that, saying that he picked this guy up and hung him in a tree. So she's trying to figure out who this guy is in the wheelchair. She's asking him all types of questions. He's basically acting like the Riddler, just not really answering anything. And, you know, just... Being difficult, a little difficult. So she doesn't, you know, she doesn't turn him in or anything like that. She's trying to get answers. And he says something about like maybe Judd is not who he seems or something like that. And Angela goes to uh, Judd's house and she's trying to find answers. And she discovers some things that, you know, maybe questions, makes her question everything that happened, everything around her. Uh, You also get a flashback of the White Knight which is the night that uh, she was talking about in episode one when she got shot um, by like the intruders. They actually show it and it was on like Christmas Eve, right before Christmas, right before midnight for Christmas and people broke into her house and she stabbed one guy and then got shot by another guy. Next thing you know, she she's in the hospital. So it, it gives you a little more information about what happened to her and why cops are now wearing mask as well um and then you have jeremy irons character um adrian fadette uh the weird strange man who lives in the castle um and remember in the first episode he talked about he wrote a play and he wanted his two servants to star in the play so they put on the play for him and he's just watching it it's so strange because he's not interacting with anyone else you know in terms of that's a part of the the, the main story so he's just dealing with these servants and they're pro- they're performing the play. And as they start performing, you realize that it's a story about the, the creation of Dr. Manhattan. And he literally like burns one of his servants, like sacrifices his servant, like, like it was nothing and just replaces him immediately. And it shows the, the, the birth of Dr. Manhattan. So he's going to have something to do with maybe Dr. Manhattan returning to earth because right now he's on Mars. And maybe he has plans to harm him or maybe he has plans to turn into him. I don't really know because he's only he's only on screen for a little bit of time. And he just everything, again, seems evil and diabolical when he's on screen. Uh, the, the again, the, the episode ends with, on a cliffhanger, just like episode one. I'm not going to say what happened, but. At one point, Will mentions to Angela that he has people in high places and you see that happen at the end of the episode. And it's really strange and it it leaves you like wanting more. Uh, The episode, it it was solid. Again, really slow. Um, I guess it's just story build up. And I believe like probably in two or three episodes is really going to take off and show a lot of a lot more action and open things up. But so far, the first two episodes have been solid. You know, just building the story, giving you like little background and insights on some of the characters. And I'm, I'm waiting for it to, you know, really take off. So check out Watchmen on HBO. Let me know what you think. What were your thoughts on episode two? Uh, favorite moments? Leave comments, like, subscribe. Thank you for listening. Deuces.